Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Cracking Maths with Shufia and today we are going to do some important sums on decimals. So keep watching. So before starting doing sums on conversion, let's learn or recall some simple things. It's just a revision of our old memories. One hour is equal to 60 minute. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. Rupee 1 is equal to 100 paise. And here milli, centi, deci, meter, deca, hecto, kilo. Here another thing I have written. I know you all know this. King Harry died. Mother didn't cry much. Here uh, king stands for kilo. Harry for Hecto died for deca, mother for meter, and uh, didn't for deci, cry for centi, and much for milli. So, these, um, these things King Harry died, mother did not cry much. It's written to uh, for our memorization of these prefixes, and uh, it will make it easier so it, it is given like this but uh, trust me i always prefer first one as i find it more comfortable to memorize than the second method and uh, from my childhood days till date i remember like this only milli centi deci meter deca hecto kilo just like an english rhyme milli centi deci meter deca hecto kilo all right let's proceed these uh, prefixes are same for all units like meter, gram, liter, second, etc. And uh, that means we can write like millimeter, millimeter, centimeter, decimeter, etc. And uh, using gram also we can write milligram, centigram, etc. And in that case, this will become gram. In place of meter, we will write gram like this. Here, milli is the smallest unit and uh, kilo is the largest unit. Okay. And the difference between these two is uh, 10. Uh, that means um, 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter is equal to 1 centimeter. Again, 10 centimeter is equal to 1 decimeter again 10 decimeter is equal to 1 meter and so on so now whenever we will solve our problems and all of our doubts uh, your doubts will get removed so let's start solving problems so exercise 3a question 8 convert 45 pairs as rupees now, during these uh, conversion sums, one simple trick I want to share with you, which will make your task just as easy as you want, not only now, but for your entire academic life, it will work. Only two lines. Only two lines uh, you will have to uh, remember. Big to small multiplication and small to big division just these two lines if you can remember these two lines you will never get confused trust me you will never get confused when to multiply and when to divide during these uh, conversion sums ketia multiply koribo lagibo aru ketia divide koribo lagibo heikhini ekkebare sohoj hoy jabo aru ami ekku chinta nokora koi easily amar math solve koribo pari okay let's start solving our problems you see, uh, pais is uh, a small one and rupee is big one. So, we are converting how uh, small to big. So, what to do in this case? Exactly, we will do division. And what is the relation? 1, rupee 1 is equal to 100 pais. This is the relation and therefore, we will divide by 100, 45 pais is equal to just we will divide this in this relation whatever written there uh, rupee 1 is equal to 100 plus with this 
100 we will divide this 45 45 divided by 100 and this will be equal to how much here two zeros are there so we will put our decimal point before two digits starting from the rightmost digit 45 1 2 here will be our decimal point so this will be equal to 0 0.45 now here we usually write a zero one zero uh, if there is no whole number part uh, one thing actually i'm making it clear the reasoning behind putting this zero although it uh, does not uh, affect the value of the number still uh, it's um, almost universally considered a good practice to include it um, as sometimes it can be easy to miss out uh, the point decimal point if there is no whole number part and uh, the zero makes it stand out so it's a good habit to write a zero before this point if there is no whole number part okay so our answer is point zero point four five and what is the unit exactly this will be our rupees zero point four five this is the answer okay here convert 357 milligram as gram now i have written already here the relation now to get how many milligram is equal to one gram we will just put uh, here you see it is written meter but when we will want to these are only prefixes so in case of gram we will write here gram milligram centigram decigram gram like this only we will read so here if it is gram and uh, how many milligram is equal to one gram we will put in place of gram we will put one and we will write zeros here so you see it uh, becomes 1000 so our relation is one gram is equal to 1000 milligram so we have got our relation and now you see this is a small one milligram is small uh, milligram is smaller than gram because I have already told you this one is the smallest one and kilogram is kilo is the largest one so gradually um, I mean in uh, ascending order it goes so we have uh, found our relation one gram is equal to 1000 milligram and here we are converting small to big so we will use division in this case therefore 357 milligram is equal to how much 357 divided by 1000 and now we will put our decimal point as uh, in the denominator three zeros are there so we will put before three digit we will put the decimal point and we will give one extra zero here and we will now we will write our um, this one gram unit gram okay this question is convert 6 hour 20 minutes into minutes here we are converting this uh, big one to small one and minutes part will keep as it is so big to small big to small what to do now multiplication or division which one exactly multiplication therefore i'm keeping uh, 20 minutes as it is i'm converting this uh, this uh, 6 hour uh, the relation is what hour and minute yes one hour is equal to 60 minutes so we'll multiply 6 into 60 this is equal to 360 minutes and our answer will be 360 plus 20 is equal to 380 minutes this will be the answer exercise 3a question number 9 convert 7 kg 5 gram to kilogram here i have written already those prefixes and uh, here the relation i will have to find out kilogram and gram so i am putting in kilo 1 and here 0 0 and this is our gram 0 so you see three zeros are there along with 1 so our relation is 1 kilogram is equal to how much thousand gram one kilogram is equal to thousand gram now our task this relation we have found this task is over and uh, as uh, here seven kg five gram 
we'll put this kilogram as it is and we'll just convert this gram and as gram is uh, this one uh, smaller than kilogram that means we are converting small to big so we'll use small to big so we'll use our division that means 5 gram is equal to 5 divided by 1000 this is equal to 5 and two zeros we will add to make it 3 digit 0 0.005 and here another 7 kg is there so we will add so 7 kg 5 gram is equal to 7 plus 0 0.005 is equal to how much 7.005 and the unit will be kg understood so that's all for today please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and share my videos and see you in my next video till then bye